Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1748, a naturalization act passes in Europe, granting Jews the right to colonize North America. In 1775, four people in Italy are buried by an avalanche for 37 days, and three of them survive. In 1812, the first Spanish constitution is enacted. It is one of the earliest constitutions ever. In 1822, Boston, Massachusetts is incorporated as a city. In 1831, the City Bank in New York is robbed of $245,000, becoming the first U.S. bank robbery. In 1848, the Wild West's Wyatt Earp is born. In 1863, the SS Georgiana ship is supposed to be the most powerful Confederate cruiser ever built. She sunk on her maiden voyage today. In 1866, the immigrant ship Monarch of the Seas sinks in Liverpool. 738 people die. In 1882, the first stone is laid for the Sagrada Familia Basilica in Barcelona, Spain. In 1883, Jan Matzeliger invents the first machine to manufacture an entire pair of shoes. In 1895, becoming the earliest filmmakers in history, the Lumiere brothers released their first filmed footage. Also in 1895, the Los Angeles Railway is established to provide streetcar service. In 1911, the first International Women's Day is observed. Issues discussed included the right to vote, and to hold public office, the right to work, and vocational training and an end to discrimination on the job. In 1914, the final game of this year's Stanley Cup is played. Toronto HC defeats the Victoria Aristocrats for a 3-0 series sweep. This is the final series of what is known as the Challenge Era. In 1915, Pluto is photographed for the first time, but is not recognized as a planet. Is it a planet? I'm confused. In 1916, eight American planes take off in pursuit of Pancho Villa, which is the first United States air combat mission in history. In 1918, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson signed the Standard Time Act, which established daylight savings time and time zones in the United States. In 1920, the United States Senate rejects the Treaty of Versailles for the second time. In 1928, Amos and Andy debuts on NBC Radio's Blue Network. In 1931, Nevada legalized gambling, which cleared the way for casinos in the state, most notably in Las Vegas. In 1932, the Sydney, Australia Harbor Bridge is opened. In 1937, astronomer Fritz Zwicky coined the term supernova and hypothesizes that they were the origin of cosmic rays. In 1941, the 99th Pursuit Squadron, also known as the Tuskegee Airmen, the first all-black unit of the Army Air Corps, is activated. In 1942, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt orders men between 45 and 64 years old to register for non-military duty. In 1945, Adolf Hitler issues the Nero Decree, which orders the destruction of all industrial plants and businesses in Germany in light of Germany's imminent defeat. Also in 1945, a Japanese kamikaze bomb hits the U.S. aircraft carrier USS Franklin, killing nearly 800 of her crew. She was badly damaged, but was able to return to the United States under her own power. In 1951, Herman Walk's novel The Cane Mutiny is published and receives the Pulitzer Prize for 1952. In 1953, at the 25th Academy Awards, which is also the first ever televised, The Greatest Show on Earth, Gary Cooper and Shirley Booth win. In 1954, Willie Moscone runs 526 consecutive pool balls without a miss, a world record. Also in 1954, Joey Ghirardello knocks out Willie Torrey in round seven at Madison Square Garden in the first color televised prize boxing fight. In 1955, German-American actor Bruce Willis is born. Also in 1955, at the 17th NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, San Francisco beats LaSalle 77-63. Future Hall of Fame center Bill Russell 
is named the tournament's most outstanding player. In 1956, with the biggest NBA margin of victory to date, the Minnesota Lakers beat the St. Louis Hawks 133-75. In 1958, the Monarch Underwear Company fire leaves 24 dead and 15 injured. In 1960, Redhead closes at the 46th Street Theater in New York City after 455 performances. In 1962, Bob Dylan releases his first album. It received mixed reviews. In 1964, today was Sean Connery's first day of shooting on the James Bond film Goldfinger. In 1965, the wreck of the SS Georgiana is discovered by teenage diver E. Lee Spence, exactly 102 years after its destruction. We talked about its sinking just a few minutes ago. In 1966, Texas Western becomes the first college basketball team to win the Final Four with an all-black starting lineup. In 1968, students seize the administration building at Howard University in Washington, D.C. In 1969, the Chicago Eight are indicted in the aftermath of the Chicago Democratic Convention. In 1974, rock group Jefferson Airplane, or Starship, depending on how you want to look at it, begin their first ever U.S. tour. In 1975, Pennsylvania is the first U.S. state to allow girls to compete with boys in high school sports. Yep, way back in 1975. In 1977, CBS aired the last episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. In 1979, the United States House of Representatives begins broadcasting its day-to-day -day business via the cable television network C-SPAN. In 1981, during the 8th Daytime Emmy Awards, Susan Lucci loses for the second time, with more to come. In 1984, American sitcom Kate and Alley premieres on CBS TV, starring Susan St. James and Jane Curtin. Also in 1984, a mobile oil company tanker spills 200,000 gallons into the Columbia River. And in 1984 as well, two-time Cy Young Award winner, baseball's Danny McLean, is indicted on charges of drug trafficking, embezzlement, and racketeering. He should have stayed with just playing the game. In 1985, Spin Magazine publishes its first issue. In 1987, televangelist Jim Baker resigns as head of the PTL club due to a brewing sex scandal involving a rape accusation by his secretary, Jessica Hahn. He hands over control to Jerry Falwell. And that is all I'm going to say about televangelists. In 1990, the first World Ice Hockey Tournament for Women is held. It is in Ottawa, Canada. In 1991, the Kansas City Royals Baseball Club announced they are putting Bo Jackson on waivers. Also in 1991, NFL owners strip Phoenix of hosting the 1993 Super Bowl game due to Arizona not recognizing Martin Luther King Day. In 1992, Britain's Prince Andrew and Sarah, Duchess of York, announced their separation. In 1994, the world record omelette is made in Yokohama, Japan. It was 1,383 square feet and was made with 160,000 eggs. Yum. In 1996, one of the worst fires ever in the Philippines swept through a Manila discotheque, killing 159 of the 400 people in the club. The club was intended to hold no more than 35 people. In 1997, the United States Supreme Court hears internet indecency arguments. In 2001, today's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Aerosmith, Solomon Burke, The Flamingos, Michael Jackson, Queen, Paul Simon, Steely Dan, Richie Valens, James Burton, Johnny Johnson, and Chris Blackwell. In 2003, U.S. President George W. Bush ordered airstrikes on Baghdad, thus launching the Iraq War with the intent of ridding the world of dictator Saddam Hussein. In 2008, English writer Arthur C. Clarke dies at age 90. Also in 2008, a cosmic burst that is the farthest object in space visible to the naked eye is briefly observed today. In 2012, 
Wendy's overtakes Burger King to become the second best-selling hamburger chain. Wendy's, the best burger in the business. Do they still say that? In 2013, the NASA Mars rover Curiosity discovers further evidence of water-bearing minerals. In 2018, Mississippi signs into law the strictest abortion laws in the United States, which do not allow termination after 15 weeks. Also in 2018, the world's last male northern white rhino dies in Kenya. In 2019, American mathematician Karen Uhlenbeck becomes the first woman to win the Abel Prize. In 2020, the COVID-19 Italian death toll surpasses China's, making it the worst affected country in the world at that time. Also in 2020, due to COVID-19, the state of California locks down and orders people to stay at home. And lastly, in 2021, the Icelandic volcano called Fagravalski erupts for the first time in 800 years. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you also will subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, sign up for notifications, do all of those great things for me, and I'll keep making videos for you. Have a great day.